Today I'm going to be making my very own antique quilt jacket. So a couple of weeks ago I was actually browsing to do Depop uh, for things that I'm probably never going to buy but I still like to look at. And I ran into this antique jacket made from a quilt um, and it was priced at $300. I immediately knew that one, I wasn't going to buy it. Two, I need to make it and three I need to find a good deal for an antique quilt. Now I don't know if you know this but an antique quilt is not cheap. I mean you can find them falling apart because obviously they're years and years and years and years old and they would still hold a price of over a hundred dollars so I knew it was gonna be a while before I actually got myself in one on one that I could actually not care if I tear it apart and mess it up. I own a couple but they're in good shape and I didn't want to go there. One I can't even touch because it belonged to my mother-in-law's mom or my mother-in-law's mom mom. Something like that. So it, it's it's super special. It's, a, it's in super good shape so I knew that I wasn't going to touch that one. And then I have another one that has a lot of red and I didn't want a jacket with a lot of red. So like I said I needed to wait. Month went by I would check daily on the Facebook marketplace for a quilt because of quarantine I actually couldn't go out or wouldn't I could if I wanted but I won't go out searching for one everywhere so I knew that eventually if I you know became patient which was tough I would find one in the marketplace and sure enough two weeks ago I was on the marketplace and a lady posted two, two quilts 20 quilts for sale for $30 so Technically, I got the quilt for $15. Uh, for a pattern, I'm going to be using one of my jackets that I already own. I did browse Pinterest and um, just the internet for patterns, like printable for free, but I didn't really find any of them that I like. I like some that were for purchase, but I didn't want to spend another $15 to $20 just on a pattern. So I'm going to be using my own jacket that I already have. I have this denim long jacket with a collar. Um, I like the pockets. I like the sleeves. Overall, I really like the fit and I think it would make a wonderful quilted jacket. Just the fit. I just love the way it looks on me. Um, my quilt is right here. It's a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there are some parts of it where I'm gonna have to probably hand stitch just so it doesn't fall apart even more as I wear. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I really hope this turns out. All right, so here's the deal. This is as simple as it looks. All I did was lay my jacket, fold it in half to mimic the front two sides of the jacket. Um, as you can see, I had to um, do it opposite sides so they weren't the same uh, you'll need a right and left. So if you do them the same, you'll obviously get a right and right. You know, that makes a lot of sense. And then I moved on to the back of the jacket. Um, same thing, I folded the jacket in half and uh, mimic the back of the jacket. It's that simple. Um, you don't have to be perfect. I am not a perfectionist. So as you can tell, this is okay with me if it's not perfect. Um, I went ahead and moved on to do my sleeves. Same thing. Just trace the sleeves and then once I got my pattern for one, I did the exact same thing for the other one um, and I was ready to go. I moved on and I am about to cut my pockets. Um, I was going to try to use the pocket pattern on the jacket but I figured it was just easier for me to just estimate how big I wanted the pockets and cut a rectangle and cut that rectangle in half. You know, you know. Just whatever's easiest for you. I always do that for myself. Take the easy way out. No, not all the time, but yeah, sometimes. Uh, I am actually cutting the, um, um, whatchamacallit, I am actually cutting the, um, yeah, the neck, the collar that I actually didn't end up using. Here are all my pieces put together. Um, honestly, sewing is just like building a puzzle. You cut all the pieces and then you just sew them together. The first thing that I did was sew the top edge of the pockets. 
so that they don't fray and I also pinned them to the front side the front right front side of the jacket and the left side um, and it's just easier to sew that way um, since nothing is attached After attaching my pockets um, to the front sides of the jacket, I moved on to um, stitching together the shoulders of my jacket and the side. All I did was a single um, straight stitch and also um, you can do zigzag so it doesn't fray. Um, it turned out that this looks just like a grandma's apron. Um, I don't hate it. Uh, this reminds me of my grandma. I vividly remember my grandma sewing aprons that look like this one and wearing them all the time to cook. Um, so I would be lying if I'd said that I wasn't gonna wear it or I wouldn't wear it this way. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Here I'm beginning to work on my sleeves. Uh, for the sleeves, I hem the bottom of the sleeve, which is the cuff. I just did a single straight stitch. You could also, um, like I said before, do a zigzag so it doesn't fray when you wash it. Um, and then I'm going to be closing the sleeves by um, turning them inside out. Yeah, you definitely want to turn them inside out. And I also just performed a single stitch um, attaching sleeves to the jacket um, seems really intimidating um, I am not an expert but I've definitely gotten better at it uh, I have messed up multiple times though um, as a matter of fact I think the attaching sleeve was the most frustrating about sewing for me I've messed up plenty but once you get the hang of it it's not that difficult um, turned out okay yep it looks pretty good uh, my next step I'm going to be um, hemming the sides um, and kind of like the center of the jacket the bottom of the jacket and the neckline um, looking pretty good so far the last few steps are just the most exciting ones just because you know that your project is almost completed i am just um hemming the edges of the jacket um, i left a pretty thick edge um through the center because i don't know if in the future i want to go ahead and add buttons i didn't do it here um, but eventually i might want to you never know i might change my mind so i wanted to leave enough room for that um for the bottom all i did was also fold about a half an inch for the center i did about an inch uh, and for the bottom i did about half an inch and all i did was a straight single line all the way across um pretty simple i ended up making some bias tape from the extra fabric that I was going to use as the collar and I just use that to sew all around um, the neckline and that was it. So I am completely done, and here is the jacket. I am really glad that I opt out from adding the collar 
Um, I think for now, I'm not gonna add buttons to it either. In the future, I might, but I really doubt that I would wear this button up so I don't find it necessary and I really like the way it looks as is. Um, I'm going to style it and I'll insert some clips. really cool in this jacket. I probably feel cooler than I look. It's kind of similar that when people wear um, leather jackets and they think they look really cool or maybe they feel they think that feeling is mutual when I wear when I wear this um, quilted jacket. Um, but yeah, that's all. I'll see you guys next time.